Hi, this is Sylvia Kolloka. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to make coca swirl pavlova. Now, pavlova is a classic dish that is meringue based, topped with cream and then topped with fruit. Um, now, because the base of this dessert is the meringue, it is crucial to make sure that you whip your egg whites properly. Make sure your egg whites are at room temperature and make sure that your equipment is really dry. So I've got four egg whites in here at room temperature. In they go. I'm going to add a pinch of salt and a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. And the salt and the cream of tartar will help whip the egg whites so that they're stable and they form beautiful soft picks that will hold their shapes. Now my weapon, and this is going to make a bit of a noise. So you whisk this until it's nice and frothy. So see, this is really nice and frothy now. And this is when we start adding the sugar. And we only add it a little bit at a time. And we whisk and whip after each addition. And so that we allow the sugar to dissolve into the egg whites. See how the meringue is changing in texture and almost in colour, I mean, it, it's, it was always white, but now it's a shiny shade of white, if that's even possible. <laughs> I think this is getting there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it another couple of minutes and then this is going to be ready. The thing about meringue is that you don't want to under whip it, but you certainly don't want to over whip it because then it will definitely collapse in the oven. So it's a bit of trial and error and you just have to see for yourself. I mean, this is almost done. It just needs a tiny bit more work. Yes, this is about done. Now, to this, we're going to add two ingredients that will turn this meringue into a crispy meringue on the outside and a gooey marshmallowy meringue on the inside a tablespoon of white wine vinegar and a tablespoon of cornstarch. And just fold this through very gently because you don't want to knock out the air at this delicate point. We're going to add cocoa powder. We said cocoa swirl meringue. We've got the meringue element. We need the cocoa. Now, we're going to add about one tablespoon. This is Dutch cocoa powder. Now be very careful here. You want to swirl it in, but don't mix it. Otherwise, well, look, if you do, what's going to happen is that you turn your meringue into a cocoa meringue and there's nothing wrong with that. But we want a marbling, swirly effect, just like so. And I'm going to leave it at that because as we dollop it onto the oven tray, it will swirl even more. I'm just going to make a little bit of room and I've got an oven tray lined with baking paper. This is the delicate moment, but also the fun moment, the dolloping in. Literally just create mounds of soft meringue. I love the marbling effect. You get some pale chocolatey ones, some dark ones, some crispy white ones. I'm going to add a tiny bit more cocoa just to further the concept of the swirl. And now this is ready for the oven. Now when I bake pavlova, I always make sure that the oven is on at 120 Celsius, which is about 250 Fahrenheit, and I bake it for about 30 minutes. Then I turn the oven temperature down to 100 Celsius, about 210 Fahrenheit and I bake it for a further 30 to 40 minutes and then I turn the oven off and I leave the door ajar for the meringue to cool down and once it's cooled down we can top it with cream and cherries and there it is my coca swirl pavlova all that's left to do now is to dollop some whipped cream on top I've mixed it with a little bit of vanilla That's it. All that's left to do is just to top them with some cherries or strawberries, raspberries, whatever you like, really. 
Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and make sure you subscribe so you can get all my recipes. Ciao ciao!